and the job was only available for 15 minutes. So, well, I'm, I'm taking something up to Newcastle, so. Okay. Well, I'm still it. headed up to the farm, so I'll see. I'm hoping that when I get there, maybe they'll have a new one, just a refreshed one, you know? Yeah. Um, what a job. Never, never been that big of a Sheffield United fan, Sheffield anyway. More of, a, more of a Newcastle guy, anyhow. Did I hit that sign? I think I did. It's better than hitting a car. I'm being super yep. careful with this beauty. Trzymaj się prawej strony, a następnie skręć w prawo. Where? Skręć w prawo. Where is this place? I think this might be the farm over here. Ale tam a farming collective? I got a ticket because I don't know. I'm looking. Trzymaj się prawej strony, a następnie skręć w prawo. I'm looking down. I think I don't know what. Skręć w prawo. Where's this thing at? Oh, is it? The, it's the transit. Oh, I'm sorry. It's one. Na rondzie zjedź czwartym zjazdem. Coming behind you, buddy. Okay. Seems On the roundabout. So. Yeah, I know. Me too. No, I'm watching you. Oh, you're watching me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah I, I missed my my turn. I was supposed to go over to the transit here, which is right like across the street. All right, I'm just pulling up to the farm right now. Trzymaj się lewej strony, a następnie skręć This is where I just dropped my, my load off yesterday, so... Jesteśmy na miejscu, cali i zdrowi. Wait, so it's Aria. Aria Farms it. here. What's it telling me? Yeah, this is where I'm at. The Newcastle. It's the Rotterdam, Cambridge, Esberg, Nuxel. 90 tons of peanut butter. It's an important delivery. <laughs> I need that peanut butter up there in Newcastle. <laughs> yeah, they do. They're serious about their peanut butter. Um, yeah, see, the one I had was gone. Gdansk, Poland. Kalmar, Sweden. Oslo, Norway. Or Link... Oh, no, there's Link up here. 6,000 euros. I'm going to take that job. It's a... The urgent delivery. The transit logo is a little different. The, the eye, the dot on the eye is something different. Farm hands, what are you going to do? Hmm. That was perfect. All right, let's jump out. This is what 19 tons of peanut butter looks like. We loaded this thing. All morning. And now we're locked down and bringing it up to Newcastle upon Tyne. These farmhands look more like uh, convicts. <laughs> 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 They're all wearing the same color jumpsuit, sitting around doing nothing. So, okay. All right. I'm parched, man. Started without having my water next to me here. There she is. Um, put her in gear. We'll hop out, take a look. Um, put her in gear. There she is. All right, let's go ahead and hook her up. Check our. Jump in the cab. We'll check our weigh bill real quick. See the trap. Chicken meat. 17 tons of chicken meat. Wow. Going to Linkoping. The Dracar Trans in Linkoping. It needs to be there by Wednesday, 10:23 to 11:53. That is a lot of chicken. How many chickens? It certainly is. Have to, have to be processed to get that many tons of chicken meat. I'll take.
tell you how many. All of them. <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> All the chickens. All that right. Sounds like a nice barbecue. Take a barbecue. look around here. Get some wings in the grill. Station over there. We got some uh, heavy equipment over there. I don't know what that's. A couple. Of, got some nice houses over here. Always like going into neighborhoods. You never know what you might find there. Sometimes you find a car accident. Other good things. If you're lucky. <laughs> yeah, if you're lucky. <laughs> Get to see the emergency crews yeah. doing their thing. Someone in a neck brace. Um, yeah. It's a good day. <laughs> Did you see that? You saw that one in uh, American Truck, right? When you were in uh, Utah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was Utah. And the one, uh, the one fire fire guy is like wringing his hands and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what just happened here? This is nuts. Uh, again, farming equipment. They're doing some hay baling over here. Yeah, my last run in America, I had three of those uh, points of interest. Yeah, I saw that. They should do that in Euro too. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'd like to get. Yeah, I got to get back on uh, American Truck. I've been uh, spending most of my time trying to get caught up here, and it hasn't really helped me very much. Okay, did I? Um, I did hit hook up, right? I got my waybill. Okay, so we're good. Here's my map. Let's go ahead and check the route. Chicken meat. We're going to. Uh, yeah, I'm coping. We're going from here, the area farm. We're coming all the way back to Yang Coping. Link Coping. We're going to Link Coping. Oh, I'm, I can't keep my pings straight. Yanko, Linko. Ping, ping, Wacko. Ping. Yako, Wacko. Wacko. <laughs> Moving out. This is an urgent delivery. They need their chicken meat. These guys need their peanut butter. Maybe they're going to go together. Peanut butter and chicken meat. <laughs> <laughs> I got lunch, you got dinner. Maybe I'll do a PB&J tomorrow. Always a, a good uh, standby. It's always good. With a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I pretty much live right. in this center lane. Because I never know when my turn's coming up. Yeah, and in Euro Truck, you really have to, because if you're over too far one way or the other, you can find yourself uh, accidentally on a, on a on an exit that you don't mean to be on. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Those things seem to pop up out of nowhere, and then, and then you're like... Uh, and I say those exits, too, out here are they're extreme. You know what I mean? They're, yeah. Back in the States, it was more of a, you know, a longer, longer ramp and all that stuff. Not so much in Europe. No, sir. anything about the compression but I did check the latency and I've got low latency turned on so I'm hoping the uh, uh, the resolution is good but like I say the last time I tried to do it didn't really work out very well I'm trying to see what is my fuel it's that one on the on the left Okay, so I have just over half a tank. See, I haven't even filled up yet. I, I got the yeah. fuel in here that I bought the truck with. That's always nice. Free tank of gas, although it's all baked in. That was a little, a little too fast. <laughs> a little too fast, I think. Or I almost had a repeat of what happened at the toll booth. <laughs> 
always surprised at how kind of rocky the interior of, of England is. In places up here in North, in North, well, in York. Yeah. Says you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little, uh. Oh, I think this broadcast is going to end up being a two hour broadcast today. I had yeah. someone with me the whole time. That's always nice. Whoever you are, I want to thank you. <laughs> I haven't heard that song in a long time. Gagita. Because they let me change lanes. Driving in my car. Yeah, you haven't uh, you haven't driven the roads with your car lately. No. Almost tempted to take it out to Europe here and do some <laughs> sightseeing. There you go. Yeah, like you said, you should come up into Sweden. I'm making this run. I'm right now. I'm going through like a kind of a forested area here. Nice tall trees. Lots of farmland. Yeah, Sweden's pretty. The, the roads are, are nice and uh, clear. Everything, you know, it's bright and sunny. Oh, man, it's beautiful. Beautiful day out here, too. What's the weather like out there where you're at? Uh, beautiful. Uh, nice blue skies. A couple of uh, pl fluffy, uh, fluffy white clouds, but not a whole, you know, not a lot. Just looks so nice. I'm in eleventh gear. Just looking down at my taking my chicken meat, unrefrigerated chicken meat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cross country here. I've got seven seven hundred twenty three kilometers on my odometer. Seven twenty four. Still got that new car smell. <laughs> I can't believe about a quarter of a million dollar truck. My first DOF is their top of the line. You got to do it, man. Who do I think I am? Well, that's the thing is you're you're a you're a mogul, man. You're a truck trucking mogul over here in Europe. You got how many how many drivers you got? Like, um, I've got. Let's see. Now I'm full up. Uh, it, so I got six other drivers. So it's me and six others. So there's a total of seven of us. But yeah, you'll recoup that money that you spent for that truck really quickly. But by getting the biggest and best that you can get every time you upgrade, you're you're allowing yourself to to take heavier loads. You're allowing yourself to do um, longer loads. You get bigger gas tanks. So that and that equates to, to more money too. So you yeah. know. You gotta spend it to make it, you know? As the saying goes. Well, I I should be really making it because I really spent it. <laughs> if that's the key, I gotta be rolling in it. And now I'm not gonna get a want not gonna wanna get another truck. My next thing to do is gonna be to upgrade my Rotterdam because I've got that little shed in the shipping yeah. district. I can turn that into a three car, a three, a three vehicle one and get two more drivers, two more trucks. Three car Monty. Yeah. But if I buy cheaper trucks, that, I mean, if you're buying cheaper, though, that's where you can really build out your fleet because you can get a cheaper truck, hire a driver and get a lot bigger, you know, company quicker than if you have to save up a quarter million dollars to euros to get a truck and you're saving forever you know yeah because if they're out there driving well i figure if you've got um what do you got three slots three openings in in uh, each garage right so you have one um long hauler 
one uh, medium and then one day tripper. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be perfect. And then you, yeah, I think that that would probably be the best way to break that down. Yeah, I don't know what, how, what, where my feet stand. Someday, at some point, when, once I get the new garage and I get two more trucks, I'll take a close look and do some rearranging. I did that in American. I, I reassigned some drivers. I sent yeah. a couple to Vegas, a couple up to Utah, and, and a couple with me down in uh, Flagstaff. Got some uh, sculptures over here. Oh, Pete, you're going to crash again. Come on. <laughs> again. Some cool sculptures. I tried to jump out of the cab again, and I was floating all around. <laughs> Water. I think I'm coming up on Newcastle. So, I'm having some issues trying to keep the truck in the straight and narrow air. Where's Loch Ness? Loch Ness is in Scotland, right? Yep. I just came from there. I wonder if you uh, could drive around the Loch. I have to check the world map when I get done with this delivery. Yeah. I didn't see a lot of sure, opportunities to go off the road. It, it was pretty windy up there, so I was I was kind of just making sure I didn't didn't jack if it does that. <laughs> yeah, what kind of an idiot would do that? <laughs> Here we go. Here's my turn. I'm getting off a nuxel. Found it by the conqueror. Look at that. There we go. I had my cruise control on. I took my foot off my pedals, and I couldn't find my brake pedal. Oh boy. So I almost did <laughs> check that my again. truck again. Because <laughs> I'm coming up to a turn going, I'm going too fast. Where's my brake? Where's my brake? Ah. Third time's a charm. You're just getting better practice. Getting better at it is what you're doing. That's right. I can I can now jackknife this truck without injuring myself. <laughs> I'm that good, yeah. Get it up on two wheels. Pull my windows down. I did. I ended up on two wheels on one side and then two wheels on the other side. There was a rest area I should have pulled that in because there was a like a castle or something on the other side of the road and I couldn't get a good look at it. Um, our customer expects delivery. Very soon they're playing the music out of town. There you go. Oh, music? They play music? Yeah, when you're noticed. late. Or when you're getting close oh, to your delivery right. time. Yeah, you've heard the music a couple of times. I forgot, yeah. Because you're like, what is that music? Why? Yeah, what? why did they turn the music on? Right. Yeah. All right, I'm about 51 minutes away from my delivery, so I should be okay. What is it, though? Is it... Uh, all right, so it's Wednesday, 10-11. I gotta be there between 10:23 and 11:53. Oh. So it seems like speeding violation. Yeah. I, so it feels like they they turn it on when you're getting close to your uh, your initial delivery time. Na rundzie zjedź pierwszym zjazdem. Oh God. I haven't had a run yet where I haven't had some sort of a traffic violation. Yeah, see, I don't get those. <laughs> so I guess we're all a little bit less than perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you need a, if you need a Mercedes Benz, it's a Mercedes dealer in Newcastle. Scrunch prep. Okay. Just FYI. Keep that in mind. Yeah, let's play this back. Couple like planes over here. It's like, hey, I was, uh, I need a Mercedes. Where did Tom say that was? There's an airport here in Linkaping. Yeah, it's like an Air Force base or something. Like that. Yeah. Zadanie wykonane. Ok, 
can't see anything because of that mirror. All right, we are here. Sell plan. That's kind of like sell goods back in the states, right? Right. Oh, I, I would assume so. Kind of like so. a, a middle market distributor buys from suppliers and sells to the buys from the rich and sells to the poor <laughs> and store chains. Uh, right. That ain't right. I gotta do that again. Sorry about that. Should have had to see that. All right, we're in Lake Koping. Again, another good place we could purchase a, uh, possibly purchase ourselves a uh, garage. Would be nice to set up here, but uh, don't have the money, and I don't have. I can't borrow the money either. I'm dropping off my thing here. So, so plan. All right, man. In Newcastle upon Tyne. Catch a football game going on here. Nuxel. Get some brown ale. Sounds about good on now. Oh, got a little laggy lag there. I almost ran into the car in front of me there. First, I need to find a hotel. Let's get to a hotel. Get a good night's sleep. Where is that here? First, I have to check, see what else is in town here. And then I think the hotel's back that way. All right. Do a little bit of little sightseeing. Find out what's here. Wybrano cel podróży. Okay. All right. Head on out. Where are we going here? I think it's a roundabout. Go oh, straight on. You got it, Sky. Ooh, what the heck is that about there? Okay. What is that? We'll go see what Looks like road is under construction, doesn't it? <laughs> Scratch. No. Seriously? He's a Newcastle fan. Yep, the garage. So this would be the garage. Get ready to turn left, she said. Another store. Okay. Thank you, Sky. I appreciate it. Every time I look away, though. Light change. 90. Take it. Ah, it's a driver recruitment agency. Oops, something's got a thing on there. Hold on, hold on. We need to get to a hotel. Dojima. Dojima. Oops. Oh, oh my gosh. Trzymaj się w prawej stronie, a następnie skręć w prawo. Skręć w prawo. So say, come on, buddy, you're waiting for me? Oh, yeah, 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 ticket. Another ticket, I mean. <laughs> There's the Euro goodies. It's like the Walbert back home. Trzymaj się w lewej stronie. Okay. Na rundzie zjedź trzecim zjazdem. Again, last time I took a right here, I'm going to flip. Everyone's turning right here. Oh. There's the hotel. I like this hotel. Oh, you know what? 
Jesteśmy na miejscu. Ooh. Get a spot down at the end there. Right in the lamp. We will stay the night. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to turn this thing around here. Her down. Newcastle staying at the generic hotel just to get a bed in a building. Locking things up back here. Alright, end of the broadcast. Thank you for watching. Good night.